We're about to watch RSGKD do a backflip, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about KD because KD slept on it. It's extremely underrated. This this some real street shit. <laughs> bro, he looks so happy he's about to do this backflip, bro. I used to do this shit all the time. Bro, hood niggas be so fucking talented, bro. They they know how to rap, do backflips, run fast, get money, get girls. Street niggas, man, they unique, bro. King Von used to know how to do this shit, too. King Von used to do backflips and all this type of shit, man. That shit crazy as hell. I ain't never did a backflip in my life. <laughs> Real street shit for the mafioso, nigga. We flip everything. Real street shit for the mafioso. We flip everything. <laughs> hey, man. Shout out KD. Hey, look. KD is one of the pioneers, man. Everybody talk about, you know, everybody that's popping now. But we can't forget about our KD. KD. We cannot forget about, bro. He was one of them one of them big faces in this music shit. First to do shit with Doughboy's Cash Out, Tammy side, Green Guys before his Ice Up Records. He was really tapped in, man. Tapped in with GT, uh, Tammy side, Snoop, Peasy, Dang, Lil Perry, or Lil P, whichever one he go by. I think it's Lil P. Or Big P. I think it's Big P, no. But yeah, he was tapped in years ago, man. No boys cash out, HBK, payroll Giovanni, you know, kidding them. Like, he just, he's so slept on when we talk about the culture and hip hop coming from the city of Flint, Michigan, bro. I can't wait till he come home because I know he gonna go crazy. He got a project dropping real soon. If you go to his Instagram page, you should see it somewhere on there. He got some shit coming real soon, man. And uh, when he get home, hopefully I can get an interview so we can talk about the history of him, Circle Boys, RLSG, and the connection that he made between Flint and Detroit. And fun fact, RLSG KD is the one who told Peasy about Rio, for those who don't know, man. So just a little Flint history for y'all, man. Shout out KD, man. I'm praying for you every day, bro. You come home, we're going to get that interview in. You already know it's all love.